Hello everyone, how do you do? This is Project How to Doom, and today we are going to take a look at my new CNC laser. This is Xtool D1 Pro with 20 watt laser model. It has working area of 430 by 390 mm. Xtool has additional extension kit that will increase the working area to 936 by 432 mm. Also I got rotary attachment and air assist from Xtool. We will look at them in depth in different videos and today I just want to do unboxing and basic look at the machine and some testings. Let's start with the package. When you open it, on the top there are two envelopes, one with the paperwork, instruction manual, warranty book with some examples of what you can do with this machine. And in the other you will find some sample materials, high quality plywood, sheet of cork tree, acrylic, glass, stamp, resin and aluminum sheet to protect your workbench or any surface you are working on. Next in the box you will find all parts of the machine, aluminum frame, power supply, 25 volts, 6 amp small box with tools, bolts and safety goggles. Also there is a 20 watt laser head. Compared to all my previous lasers, this one looks huge and weighs something about 700 grams. I used to have one laser, also mention it's 20 watt, but it looks like a toy compared to this one because most other lasers write the power consumption and this laser indicates the actual power of laser radiation. Assembly took me about 40 minutes. Everything is pretty simple and uh, I think no one will have problem with it. In the manual there are pictures of all steps. So you basically attach all parts of the frame together, installing x-axis and laser head. There are some interesting safety features in this machine. For example a flame detector and gyroscope. Also limit switches in the all directions. It's not something really unique, but it's always great if CNC knows where to stop before destroying itself. When assembly is finished, next step is to install software. You can use any program you like, for example Laser JRPL, Lightburn or program from Xtool called Creative Space. Wi-Fi connection works only in native one. Lightburn has more functions, it's more powerful tool, but to be honest, I tried the creative space and there are just enough functions to do most tasks. Also it's very user friendly and easy to use. Easy to connect, easy to import images and edit them. You can choose the right settings from presets for different materials. There are, you can find wood, plywood, acrylic, steel, stone. If you just enter in the world of laser CNC, I would recommend to work with uh, creative space and then look at light burn if you're missing something. When you turn on the laser, there is a red laser cross, which is helps a lot to aim. I put some plywood on the aluminum sheet, then you need to adjust the focus. Pull down the focus lever, slide the laser to make the focus lever close to the material surface. Recover the focus lever. And that's it. First thing I tried is a simple engraving on wood. Just drag and drop image into creative space. Choose engraving on the plywood, position the laser head and press the button to start.
They are a little more powerful than required, but it's very easy to change the engraving settings. Engraving is good, but any other diode laser can do it. Let's try cutting. I found this cute oval, the simple drag and drop vector to the software. Select cutting parameters for plywood, position and start. It cuts through easily as my CO2 laser does. There is a lot of dirt underneath the plywood on the aluminum sheet, so I recommend to buy a honey table if you're planning to cut something regularly. It will help to keep the bottom surface clean. Let's try to engrave on some steel. I did some text and pictures on a steel fork. Simply choose preset and punch the button. After the minute of engraving, fork become really hot. It's about 70 degrees Celsius. Engraving very deep and you can feel it with the finger. I think it will last for a long time. I was impressed with the speed of work. And it's cool that you can do the work on clean steel surface. In less powerful lasers it's only possible if surface was painted. Next I tried to engrave the cup of the bottle with same settings and it was too much. You can see the cup is bended because of heat. In case to try something bigger, I bought a cutting board and raised this picture. So, as you can see, it doesn't turn out perfect. If you're planning to make something like this, you better choose cutting board made of hardwood and definitely not bamboo. In the samples, I found a sheet of cork wood and decided to make a coaster. I didn't found a uh, presets for this, so I did some tests. With engraving I found the best settings very fast, but with cutting it was harder. The material either catcher fire or didn't cut through completely. So I decided to use an air assist. And with it I can cut cork with no problems. So this is a design I used. At the beginning I think to make four coasters. But during the test it smells awful, so I made only one. In my opinion it turned out pretty nice. So as you can see you can make a lot of different stuff with this machine. Souvenirs, engraving, cutting, wood and acrylic. In most cases you can replace CO2 laser with this CNC. Some job could be done even better. For example 20 watt diode laser can cut 10 mm of wood in one pass. My 40 watt CO2 cannot do that. It engraves steel, CO2 cannot. One thing that CO2 does better is transparent materials, such as acrylic and glass. Despite it's very simple to use, it's very powerful tool. If you're planning to do a lot of work on it, I strongly suggest to buy a honey table and think about ventilation. Also, Xtool has a Black Friday sale starting November 15, so if you're interested in this machine, you can find links in the description. In the next videos, I'll show you some other ideas what you can make with it, and we'll try to use a rotary attachment. See you next time. Bye.